Hi folks, it's Nick here for Nick's News and Reviews and uh, we've gone a bit crazy on Pac-Man reviews on the ZX Spectrum of late so it's only fitting we should uh, cover Pac-Mania on the ZX Spectrum uh, released in 1988 um, by Grand Slam Entertainment licensed by Namco it goes without saying um, from the arcade coin-up um, just like all the other versions of this game, it's a choice of, well, there's four different sort of mazes, but three are selectable. Uh, Block Town, Pac-Man Park, and Sandbox Land. I um, really like, enjoyed this game on the Commodore Amiga, so let's see how the playability compares on this one. Uh, no music throughout the um, game, which is a bit awkward. So I missed that a little bit. Um... Yes, I don't like that sound when you get a power pill. And you might have noticed as well, when Pac-Man goes left to right, he moves a lot quicker than he, when he goes up and down. So that's a bit of a niggle as well. Uh, also, it's not full screen, like any other version I've played. You only see bits of it, which might get a bit awkward if you've got to jump over ghosts in a tight um, spot. I forgot the word spot there, that was good. But it's pretty much the same. You collect the power pills, the ghosts go black in this instance, which means you can eat them. Once they go back to normal colour, you can't. Uh, no different colour ghosts in this. They're all the same colour as the maze, so that loses a little bit somewhat. The AI isn't quite as clever, so quite often you get loads of them all in a row. Do I like this version of Pat Mania? Oops. Well, it sort of survives, but um, it, I, I think they could have done a bit better, really. Um, Pac-Man's all about the music and the, the wacko wacko noises as you're eating the pills. This hasn't really got it, so it doesn't really feel like Pac-Man. I have to say it, um, although the 2D versions uh, Pac-Man, I prefer playing those than this, although this is a lot more advanced. They've done well with the programming to get a 3D perspective on it, but um, I think it was maybe a bit too ambitious. But yes, this is Pac-Mania on the ZX Spectrum. Collision detection is a bit awkward as well there. Um, you seem to be out to, out to run the, the ghosts going left and right, as I said, but going up and down, it seems to be the same. So I'm sure that wasn't intended, and then we see four ghosts all in a row there. Not sure that should be happening. Uh, Power Pill's normally yellow, but at least Pac-Man's a different colour, although his colour does clash a little bit. So at least that one bit's different. Round clear, good job, we collect all the pills. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Pac-Man Theatre. Just imagine the music. Can't remember where it goes now. On to the next stage. Here we go. This is Pac-Man's Park. A bit colourless, all a bit white. You can see here we can't see much of the maze. But same again. Collect all the pills, then you're on to the next level. I find this a bit more of a chore, really, than an actual game. A bit like if I was doing Sudoku. I don't know what that is that's materialised. A bit of fruit. Looks like a melon. Fruit target. Man, this game's dull. But it is Pac-Man. Uh, that's a bit more you can say. But um, Play this on the Commodore Amiga. Got a review of that. So have a look at that to um, see how it compares. Um, it leaves this one miles in the shade. It should have been better. Amiga version, but not the great distance of... Yeah, see, that shouldn't be happening either. Let's see how far we get on this one. Collision detection is a bit awkward. So all about collecting the power pills and then uh, collecting all the other dots nearby. Um, what good things can I say about this game? Well, it scrolls okay. I'll give it that. Yes. Not very exciting. But the essence of the game is there. A bit like if I was to draw a picture of the Mona Lisa, you might see that it's the Mona Lisa, but you wouldn't pay any serious money for what I can come up with. So it's an echo of the game rather than the game itself. Maybe I'm being a bit too harsh. If you love this game, comment below. I've also got it on my phone as well. Played better on the phone than this. So I might do a bit jumping. See the ghosts have changed colour, they're white to, to uh, match the maze. So from a program perspective, they're controlling a lot of ghosts here, so that's um, good. But they all seem to be going in the same direction. And as I said, they quite often, uh, all of them are seem to be in a line on any maze at the whole time. 
Well, it seems to be going quite well here. Famous last words. Uh, I think the ghosts start jumping on the next uh, level. There we go, round clear, good job. I think there's two mazes, different colours of this one, yep. So we go into green mode. I don't think we'll get to the jungly steps like we did on the um, uh, Amiga version. Only because I might fall asleep at the, the tedium of it. Now I've played this game on practically every version it come out on. Uh, the one version curiously I haven't uh, played it on is the actual original arcade game if you have comment below I'm sure it differs quite a lot from this but I'm not sure how accurate the other versions got on it but I'm presuming the Amiga and Atari ST versions were very close nigh on published by Grand Slam Entertainments I think I mentioned not sure what other stuff they did I haven't come across them too often maybe I just haven't been noticing Comment below of other games they might have done. Always like to hear from you. Also comment rating to subscribe. I'm I'm lacking comments at the moment. So we're trying to update the um the amount of uh, videos I upload. Try and create a bit of interest there. But having I work as well to pay the bills. But uh, work does tend to get in the way. Who knows? One day I might be able to do this for a living. But at the moment I'm about a billion light years away. And. Uh, that's not even in sight. Videos aren't even monetized yet, it just wouldn't be worth it. Game over, see you! I think um, I think this warrants maybe one more go, just to show you one of the other mazes. Maybe show you uh, Sandbox Land, but essentially it's the same gameplay. Patterns in the maze are a little bit different. To replay this level, press fire within five seconds. I don't think we will. So I don't know how much money Namco made out of this game, out of all formats, but I'm assuming it was quite a lot. Uh, jungly uh, steps isn't selectable at the start, and this is when it starts getting a little bit more difficult. Beware of jumping ghosts. So yes. I suppose it looks a little bit graphically, you, you've got the, the black with the yellow background. But gameplay, I don't think it's moving much quicker. It's moving a little quicker, I think, but not a great deal. I don't think there was a Moose Pack Mania, but there was a, a Pack Land, I think. I don't know how that goes. That's it, you're dead, ghost. Let's just see if we can complete this. I'm not sure this is the exact same pattern as the other versions, you know? I don't remember that below there's a dead end. I don't remember there being a dead end before, unless we can jump over it, can we? No. Yeah, I don't remember any dead ends before. Maybe that's a glitch. I do not know any cheat modes on this game either, but I expect there was some. If you know, then let us know. But I doubt we'll be playing this game for quite some while, if ever again. <laughs> yes, that's a bit of an indictment. But there's so many games. I mean, this is okay. I wouldn't say this is a terrible game. It's just not as good as the other versions. And a little bit flawed as well. But it holds together what it does. The load times are good. From an original cassette, of course, it's not doesn't have to load anything else. So they've done okay. One of the later Spectrum games in terms of actual development. And there, there are modern day homebrews. I'll have to check them out at some point. So I don't know too much about the homebrew games that are around. As we eat a banana. Right, are we going to do this? I think we can't have too many more pills left. I don't know what those dots are underneath each of the pills. Is that some sort of shadow? Possibly. Right, there's one here. There's two down below. That's it. Oops. I forgot that the ghost can jump now. That might help us. Let's, let's call that animation how it spins around. Yes, round clear. Good job. I like the animation when it dies. That's a good job. Another sandbox, but this time in blue. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, it didn't last very long that time. That annoying noise saying the ghosts are vulnerable. Hmm. 1988, eh? How things were different back then. I'm not sure how much you would have paid for this game at the time. 
Probably about, I don't know, how much were games in? Probably about £12, maybe maybe £6. I'm clueless. I'm not sure, although Grand Slam um, did the uh, a UK version, I, I think it was released in other countries as under a different um, publisher. I might be wrong on that bit. Should have done my research. Right, but I don't know, as I say, I don't know why they didn't use the full screen. I mean, that bit down the right there with the pat menu and the scores, they could have squeezed that down to the bottom. I can only guess it's some sort of a memory uh, constraint, as we now seem to be followed by every ghost in the maze. Oh, we're not outrunning them going left to right this time. I think they're going to gradually catch us up. We need a power pill. That's it. I think we'll let them uh, run. Oh dear, they were invulnerable for hardly any time at all there. Oops. Right, that's a life lost. Three lives left, I think. There's three smiley faces anyway, so I'm presuming that uh, that tallies up. Come on, Pac-Man. You uh, a beast creature. What's the most modern day Pac-Man game? Out at the moment. When was the last one released? That's a bit of a quiz question for you. If you want to be the first person with the answer, then comment below, and we can all say what a clever person you are, or or whatever. That's good. Got to make the most use of this one. Whoops. So I'm showing you a good percentage of the game. The jungly steps it doesn't differ too much, although you're going up and down uh, jungly steps. Man, that 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 was a good explanation. That's the best you're going to get. Hmm, it seems those ghosts have got slightly different faces. Would have liked them to be different colours. I don't know how difficult that would have been to do. Give them their own character. Oh, this was a bit impossible here. Dibbly -dibbly 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 -dibbly. Hmm, all the ghosts seem to be staying up the top here. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, look. Don't deserve to be that many ghosts on one maze, I don't think. I think they've overdone it. Oh, this is impossible here. Hang on. Yes, and he dies. Is that our last life? We've got one. Yeah, last life left. I don't think this uh, Let's Play slash review's got much longer to run. But we'll go this route this time, see if we can do it. I doubt we can. It's ghostly quiet, but I don't want to do a, a, a pun there. I don't think this is on. Right, one left. Yeah, he's going to get me in the collision detection on the corner, I think. Yeah, see, look. That wasn't fair. Who programmed the collision detection? Let's kill them. Anyway, game over. See you. Let's uh, type in some amazing name, which is all blank. So, yes, uh, that has been Pac-Mania, if you haven't been paying attention, on the ZX Spectrum, if you haven't been paying attention. I hope you liked that one. Until next time. Uh, we're not going to be playing the level, so until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.